Hello Carcroft, this is Mr. Overly, principal here at Carcroft, welcoming you back to the school year. And so in this screencast today, you're going to be seeing a variety of different information as well as a welcome back. So let's meet our admin team. Uh, I'm Mark Overly, I'm the principal here at Carcroft, been here since 2009. Mr. Smith is our assistant principal and Mr. McGuire is our dean of students. Again, anything you need, please feel free to reach out to us, call, email, um, and we will help you with anything that you might need. And yes, that is long hair. I have not cut my hair since we have been out of school in March. And now my commitment is to keep that hair going until we are back in as a full school. So I'm going to keep that growing, and then on that first day back, we will cut my hair. So that should be a fun experience. So like in the past, we always have really fun themes. In the past, we've done part of the crew, part of the ship. We've done superheroes. Last year, we had our friends theme, kind of like Croft story. Um, and this year's theme is Chase the Rainbow. Rainbows symbolize the calm after a storm, the hope for a brighter tomorrow, fresh new beginnings. Chase the Rainbow came about last spring when family members were locked down due to COVID. People posted rainbows on their windows to spread hope, joy, and kindness. This year, Carcroft will be chasing the rainbow. What we're asking you to do is when you see a rainbow, post a rainbow. Here's just a couple of rainbows that we saw in the last two weeks. And again, they're exciting to see. Share them on Twitter, send them through Dojo, email them to me, um, and let's continue to keep chasing the rainbow. Remote learning for the fall is gonna look a lot different from the spring. In the spring, it was all asynchronous learning, which means we loaded assignments and students worked on their own. So this is going to be a combination, a schedule that students will follow with synchronous, which will be live instruction that the teacher will be giving online, as well as asynchronous assignments loaded that they'll work on their own. Quite a few movement breaks, mindfulness like we've always done, and then also social emotional learning lessons to continue to keep working on the whole self. So what does that look like? Here's a sample schedule. Your teachers will be sending you a more detailed schedule. So you can see at 8.35 to 9, these are synchronous times um, for folks that need some extra help on additional types of services. And then at 9.20 is when you're going to start your day with your live teaching from your teacher. So you'll be logging on to your computer, going through your morning meetings, going through a variety of different core types of classroom expectations. There'll be time then for lunch and we have the times at the same time. So if you have siblings or other folks, they can all take their lunch break together and inside there will also be specials that will be asynchronous. So there'll be events loaded in there to be done for the week. And then finally, live teaching in the afternoon. So what does remote learning look like? So what we're asking is that you set up a space for learning. So consider where you'll be comfortable sharing your video and audio. Be mindful of what's in the background. Sit in front of a light source. Choose a space that's quiet with limited distractions. Be sure to have a flat and stable surface to work on your device and for written assignments. We're always asking that you be on time and ready to learn. Other expectations, we're asking to turn on those cameras, mute your microphone so you're not speaking to prevent background noise, wear earbuds or headphones, we'll be handing out earbuds when you pick up your stuff, when, out, when in breakout rooms, be sure to follow the teacher's directions, and remain engaged during the entire learning session. So this Thursday and Friday, we'll be distributing materials. We have a lot of stuff to give out, so we'll be handing out um, Chromebooks as well as iPads and then we'll also be handing out supplies, workbooks, reading, books, and a lot of cool Carcroft swag. So there is a loan agreement. I'm going to be sending that in an email. We'll have it here as well but it is pretty lengthy. I'd like you to read over it before you come and then I'll have a Google form if you'd like to fill it out electronically or otherwise when you come through the line you'll have to fill it out with a pen. This Thursday, September 10th at 3 p.m. on Zoom, we'll have our Meet the Teacher. At this point, your teachers have been reaching out through either Dojo or through email, giving you a link. 
If you do not get that link by Thursday, give us a call here at Carcroft and we will give you the link. That I that time is a 10 to 15 minute time for the teachers just to introduce themselves, say hello, have the students introduce themselves and play a fun game. We will have additional time later on for a more traditional type of open house, but this is just a quick hello, how are you doing? And I'm your teacher. This year we will be using Class Dojo as a communication tool. So your teachers have probably been reaching out to you to sign up for Class Dojo. If you use this in the past, your students are already in there. Teachers will send you links so that you can sign up or they may send you a text message, text, text message for you to sign up. It's a great way for you to communicate with the school, for us to communicate as a full school, as well as get updates um, from your teacher. We're still using Twitter, so our handle is Carcroft E-L-E-M, and we're still posting all the amazing things that are happening on Carcroft, so I invite you to follow us on Twitter. Social emotional learning is such a powerful tool that we have been using for the last couple of years. Mindfulness has been something that we continue to use. And like anything, we need to practice, practice, practice. So here's another short little video that you probably saw in the now spring. We can do mindful books. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. This again will be a focus of ours because what we found is when you are able to practice and learn how to self-regulate yourself, it helps in so many different things, whether it's stress, whether you're um, happy, excited, it's important to learn how your body is feeling. Additional items, uh, parent student orientation videos will also be going out later this week to explain more in detail what your child's classroom will look like. There will also be Parent Academy with help videos for you, the parent, if you need help logging in or other questions that you may have around remote learning. Open house dates will follow as well as we are here for tech support as, as well. So make sure to call, email us with questions. You can email me here at mark.overly at bsd.k12.de.us with questions. So again, we are super excited for you guys to be back. Again, Crocs Chase the Rainbow is our theme this year. That's the hashtag we'll be using. Uh, we are excited to be back at Carcroft, um, whether it's obviously right now remote but again, our hope is to be back as one big family. So thank you, um, and we are excited about the school year.